I'd be remiss if I didn't get your thoughts on this year's iteration of the Toronto Maple Leafs and, hey, their chances against that same old Tampa Bay Lightning team. Uh, I think the the worry that it's the, oh, the Leafs always have a good regular season and they have a bad playoff, and I get why that's just baked into the mindset of the fans in Toronto. I mean, it's been forever, right? Yeah. I think they're really good. I, I, I don't... I don't love their goaltending. So, you know, you're going to, most teams are going to end up second place to Vasilevsky anyway. So that's, I mean, that's just the way it is. So the next concern would be, is that defense going to be stout enough in a playoff series? Yet for the most part this year, all the time it's been, while it might not look the way you want, it has been really pretty good. And their forwards are deeper, um, more varied um, in their construction as opposed to in the past. Uh, I think they're a better team than Tampa this year. I, Tampa's team, through the number of games they've played the last three years, the defections that have gone through free agency, the age you know, that, that you know, creeps up while you're not looking, uh, they're not as good a team as they were in the past. I mean, I think it'll be a hell of a series, but uh, I, I think Toronto should be relatively confident that they've got the right, time, the right team for this time. God, it, it makes so much sense. Uh, but you, you'll never get John Cooper to admit that they're tired or they've played so much hockey. But uh, is that what we've seen in the last 10 or 15 games? Or is it is it mental? Like, why haven't they've been a a good hockey club uh, the last what month maybe 500 well i would say kip it's a couple of things one is that there it, it's hard to play championship hockey or top caliber hockey for 82 games imagine trying to do that for three years or four years now and yet They've only got 22 losses. It's not like they're a disaster. But Stamkos um, has been in a bit of a lull before he got hurt. Uh, Point and Kucherov have been the, the big boys all year. You know the guy that's really struggled, and I think it hurts them immeasurably to his standard, is Victor Hedman. He just has not had a great year by Norris caliber standards. And that given, you know, you lose Ryan McDonough as well. You lose a guy like Jan Ruta, who you never really look at, but, man, he kind of just fit in that mix there. Their, their defense isn't as good. They don't, they don't, they don't, they spend more time in their zone. Check out the number of times they give up 40 shots in a game. It's, it's kind of shocking. Mm-hmm. And I, I think they're just so well coached and well seasoned that they can work around that. I just, I think it's going to be hard to just continually kick it up another gear, another gear, another gear. And it kind of feels like this is the best Nylander's ever been. I mean, clearly Matthews has got another gear, yet he's starting to heat up a little bit. Marner's had a, an amazing year. Like they're, you know, yeah, had O'Reilly and Tavares had a real, like they're just, I'm going to go through the lineup and go, I just think they're better constructed. I, I think they're a, a pretty well-constructed team. And if you go through any team in the league, you can nitpick one part of their roster because the cap means you can't have everything. 